Hey everybody, I'm here with the collector fight gameplay and then overview of resources and units used. We'll have a look at masteries. For the offensive masteries, pretty much all points were utilized in this tree. We maxed out the Fury Masteries, Courage, Assassins, and Deep Wounds. For the Defensive Masteries, we removed all points and placed them in the Offensive Tree. For the Proficiency Masteries, not much was changed. For each path, we had Limber maxed out. Other than that, we had some points in Mystic Dispersion for some paths. And here we go. As we go through the fight, there'll be text coming up on the screen which will describe the Abyssal abilities the Collector gets as his health decreases. I've also removed the portions of Revive and Health Potion use, because we all know... Ain't nobody got time for that! Below 85% health protection. The collector can no longer take more than 1% of his max health as damage from any single source. If this damage cap is hit, the collector becomes unstoppable for 5 seconds. The cooldown is 10 seconds. Below 70% health. Offense. The Collector gains a permanent boost to critical hit rating and armor rating equal to 2,250. Below 55% health. Shatter. The collector's special attacks cannot miss, be evaded, or be auto blocked. They also ignore 25% of the opponent's block proficiency. Below 40% health. Immunity. The collector becomes immune to all bleed, poison, stun, incinerate, and power lock debuff effects. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step.
Below 25% health, Blitz. The collector periodically becomes unstoppable and fights more aggressively for 3.5 seconds. Below 10% health, Displacement. The collector's landed strikes inflict two stacks of displacement. His blocked strikes that aren't well-timed blocks inflict one stack. When the player has 20 or more stacks of displacement, they are knocked out. This cannot be prevented in any way. Here we have the unit and resource breakdown for each of the collector fights. Each time we faced the collector we used Aegon. On path 1 we used 17 revives, 2 potions, and it cost us a total of 640 units. For path 2 we used 12 revives, 8 potions, and 793 units. For path 3 we used 14 revives, 6 potions, and 728 units. Pass 4, 14 revives, 14 potions, and 952 units. For pass 5, we used 21 revives, 23 potions, 1428 units. The total amount of revives used for fighting the collector was 78. I had guessed it would cost about 83 revives, so I used 5 less revives than I was expecting. Overall, the collector fights cost 4,541 units. I was expecting it to cost 3,120, so it cost me an extra 1,421. And the main difference in the unit units required was the potions. Uh, in total, we ended up using 53 potions. And that's it for the collector breakdown for the units and resources used.
There is a pinned link in the comments section which will take you to the rewards opening for the initial clear and for the exploration rewards. Thanks for watching.